Automobile industry has changed or has changed and electromobility is the future. It used to be hybrid technology at Le Mans, testing very fun uh, new technologies and it's awesome for a racing driver to be developing the future, racing for the future. It's definitely something super challenging to work with engineers and uh, yeah, it goes really in line with the product Porsche is releasing right now. This journey actually started already end of 2017 when we went out of WEC with the LMP1 program. We focused on developing the powertrain, bringing it on the test bench and do mileage to make sure we are reliable. Of course we didn't have a test car in 2018, that came beginning of 2019 together with a battery so we could build up the first test car and hit the track in March in Weissach and then we went through our extensive test program to finally be ready for the first race. Contrary to popular belief, Formula E is not a one-spec series. Although every team has to use the Spark-manufactured Generation 2 chassis, Porsche spent the summer of 2019 testing and refining the parts of the car they could develop themselves. What we are focusing on is to develop as much technology as possible in-house. On the hardware side, efficiency development, also weight is an important part, and then software development is very, very important. The goals of our test season were first and foremost to get the car rolling, to check all the functionality. Durability was high up on the list, of course. We have only two powertrains per car per season. We need to learn about the tires, we need to get the software ready and of course get the drivers ready on our car. Neil and as well as Andre have both got fantastic knowledge technically from the LMP1 program. So they have a good understanding of software control systems generally. And with this championship, we don't run data or telemetry live. So we really rely on their feedback whilst the car's on track so we can prepare changes when they come in. With eight other manufacturers, Porsche's 99X Electric is up against some tough competition. But the German mark believe they can transfer their enviable racing record to make a success of this new venture. One of the highlights uh, in my career clearly was racing the 919 uh, hybrid at Le Mans in the World Endurance Championship. An amazing car from a technological point of view and also just driving it, it was amazing. But we changed category, uh, we changed fields and hopefully we're having the same success in, in Formula E. Mixed results since the opening e prix have left Porsche in the bottom half of the championship table. But the long-term goal is to apply what they learn on the track to their new generation of road cars. Porsche has focused its effort on the powertrain side towards electrification with plug-in hybrid vehicles and the Formula E program fits very well into this strategy and makes a lot of sense to also go racing with electric cars and we can demonstrate that electric cars are exciting and that we can have a very, very high level competition and good racing.